All right, gonna do some work on the Corvette. Got a 2016 C7 Stingray. I'm gonna uh, paint the calipers um, body color blue. Uh, get rid of these what I think are ugly yellow ones. And uh, also change out the brake pads for um, the OEM brake pads for some, I guess they're just ceramic. Uh, brake pads, those are uh, from Carbotech. I did a lot of reading on uh, the Corvette forum and uh, these seem to work pretty good for street use of uh, real low uh, dusting, which has been a real problem with these OEM ones. You can just see just a little bit of a wipe here and it comes away just black and that just gets all over the tire rim here. It's impossible to keep these things clean. That dust will accumulate in just uh, 10 or 15 minutes of driving, you'll have some on there. So I'm hoping to eliminate that. Um, going with the uh, G2's brake caliber paint system. And there's a couple really good uh, videos out there on, on how to uh, do that too. So anyway, uh, first thing I gotta do is loosen all the lug nuts. Um, around the car and then jack it up and pull the wheel. Car's all jacked up. Lugs are loosened. Just make sure that uh, you use uh, some pucks right here and put them in the right uh, holes under the car. Get some good jack stands. All right, got the wheels off. Now it's time to uh, do some cleaning. See the brake dust on there. <clears throat> We're going to use um, a cleaner that uh, came in the G2 kit, non-chlorine brake cleaner. We're going to use that to uh, clean it after we are all masked. I think a couple of learnings is uh, don't use the uh, brake cleaner uh, too much on one wheel where you don't have enough left for the rest. Uh, I just barely finished the fourth wheel. I used way too much on this first one. Um, another thing is um, I'm going to try this. I uh, didn't see this talked about anywhere else but I put a couple of little skewers through here. They're just your basic kitchen skewers, wooden. I put a couple through the holes that uh, the pins go through to keep paint out of them. There's probably some other ways you can do that. Um, just paint over it and pop a little drill bit through it when it's all dry and done, but uh, I thought I'd try that. So, uh, wheels are all done. Also helps a lot to be in a temperature controlled garage because it's about 40 degrees out right now. Uh, I think I got everything masked. Make sure you mask the rubber tips here. Looking good. Gone back over it a couple times with with a cloth to make sure I get all the grease off it and dirt. And of course, another thing is that um, <clears throat> you really only need to paint the areas you can see. So I'm not planning on painting the backside. Um, I've got the uh, brake pads out because I'm going to swap them with the ceramic ones when it's all done. All right, so I'm gonna mix the paint up. All right, we're ready to start painting. I'm gonna go ahead and use the uh, included brush. I have a, another one I can use. This one doesn't seem to work very well, but most people say it works okay. You just gotta watch out for bristles. Uh, almost 20 minutes. So about 10 minutes per wheel. 
All the wheels are painted. I put uh, three coats on. Uh, I would say that um, you really have to watch for drips. Um, they can form pretty easily. But um, you can go back, within a few minutes, you can go back and, and wipe them smooth. But uh, once it's kind of set and dried, you can't do that, of course. But they look pretty good. We're going to let them dry for a few hours now. And then uh, check them out. Take the masking off. All right. Got all the masking tape off. And uh, I think it looks just fantastic. Color match is great. Had no runs on any of them. Uh, ordered some stickers to go on the calipers. Gonna put those on. Got them from, um, geez, what was the name of the place? Uh, Tower decals. Um, they look great. I got them in red. We'll see how that works out on the blue background. Let's see. Oh, this is also a really good time, of course, to uh, clean the wheels because they're filthy inside from all that brake dust. So I'll have to get them out and get them clean. So um, the brake pad, they just slide right in like this. And then there's a couple of pins that go through in this direction. Oops. In this direction to hold them in. There's a spring to retainer that um, the pin goes through like this. And that puts some uh, compression on the brake pads and holds them in. So I cleaned all this up. It was pretty yucky from brake powder and the old brake pads. And uh, sometimes these brake pads will have a, a tab on the top or on one side like this, or they'll have an arrow. Uh, if it has an arrow, it's, I guess it's supposed to go in the it points in the direction that the wheels turn. This doesn't have arrows, but it does have a tab, which is um, a wear indicator. And uh, if it does have that, uh, it's supposed to go on the top. That, this one, has no tab, and it goes on the other side. This. Just take one of the pins, feed it through from the back side. with the hole in the uh, brake pad. Make sure you put this in the right way so that the pin goes through this part of the spring uh, which compresses the brake pads. So you just set that. The top one's easy to do. You just hold it there and start feeding the pin in. Guide it through the second brake pad. And it pretty much lines up and you just tap it through. And you'll hear the sound change when it bottoms up. There's a little uh, compression ring on one side of this one end. And uh, when that goes in, it squeezes shut and holds the pin in there. So you can feel that. Um, so the next one's a little trickier because you get it started over here. And then uh, you got to hold, the, uh, hold this compression spring here down, feed the pin through. That's it for the brake pads. So now we'll uh, put the stickers out. Okay, putting the decals on is pretty straightforward. Just make sure it's a clean surface. And since this is freshly painted, it's pretty clean. We'll Pre-position it. Check where, where you want it. That's about right. Peel the backing off. Make sure the letters come with the piece in your hand. Position it where you want it. And you pretty much only get one shot at this. So. Just press it down with your 
fingernail or a credit card or something, push the letters down onto the surface, and then you peel that off. Feel it nice and slow, make sure the letters are sticking. Straight down, don't pull out. Completed job. I think it looks just.